Hey everyone, I'm Maddie Thompson from ClearPath Robotics and this is the Robot Spotlight, our series where we highlight some of the most unique projects that come through our integration shop. Now today we'll be looking at a Husky-based integration involving a Franca robotic arm. Let's go ahead and get started with the episode. Hi everyone, my name is Sam Salabracci and I'm a systems integration technologist here at ClearPath Robotics. Today, I'm here to talk to you about my latest project, which I think you'll find interesting as it contains the brand new Franca Research 3 robotic arm. This robot is intended for cutting edge AI and robotic research. Let me give you a quick walkthrough of all the components I've added. This robot was built on the ClearPath Husky base platform, which is known for being versatile, rugged, and easy to use. In addition, this robot includes the newest revision of the Husky MCU. This offers high current outputs, regulated 12 and 24 volt fused outputs, as well as easy to connect shore power and wireless charging ports. An industrial grade, highly reliable AC inverter provides safe, stable power to the Franca Research 3 that will empower researchers with a multitude of physical interaction features, powerful control interfaces, and ease of use. An interesting feature about this robot is that it's fully PAX compatible. PAX is a ClearPath Robotics modular system to standardize adding components to a robot. It allows sensors and attachments to be integrated in real time without messy drilling or machining parts. This robot also features the front and rear Hokoya two-dimensional LIDARs, along with a three-dimensional Velodyne LIDAR for collision detection, room mapping, and object avoidance. Finally, we've added ClearPath Robotics indoor navigation, mapping, and object avoidance software. That's all for today's video. Thank you so much, Sam, for sharing your robot with us. Now, don't forget to subscribe because there will be more interesting robotics integration videos coming very soon. Now, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to give it a like. And if you have any questions, just leave those in the comments down below. Thank you all for watching and we'll see you next time.